the wheels on the mower don't turn and turn. There you are. Jammed up with clumps of grass. Hello, sweet girl. Hello, sweet girl. It was getting harder and harder to push it. Oh, there you are. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweet girl. But you need water. The part up, the heavy going, deep, thick stuff. I didn't mow last summer. I didn't go beyond about where I'm now. Figuring I'll, I'll get back to it in a week or two last summer. <laughs> well, out of my head. That's why it's so grown up. But I sure love having a newly mown path. Oh, it's so civilized feeling. Oh, deer fly. Full of blood and good cheer. <laughs> you get them and you know you got them. And try as you might to find them in there and squish them. No. You finally give up, pull your hand away, out they fly. This is the birch blowdown. Came up to here, and then we went. I made, well, there was a path here. It was called autumnal gold. Rather than have to go all the way to the end of the ATV loop trail and then come back, I just made this. Took down a few saplings last summer and so I was coming in and out along here. Quickly it grows up. Yeah, all of this was not here. I had cut it down to open up the path. And this was all <laughs> trampled flat. The original ATV loop trail continues on up through there, which it looks like there's not even a path there anymore. Gotta mow that. Any guesses on that egg? My first thought was goose. It was the size of a regular large, extra large domestic chicken egg. Well, I think I'm done enough on the ATV loop trail. I'm gonna go back toward Otter Pond and well, I need to mow Summit Ridge Trail. Well, there's a lot I need to mow, but I got the bulk of this is passable. It's walkable now. I'm going to go get that goose egg. GoPro battery is at 30% and I don't want to run out. So I'm using the G9. Doesn't have the stabilization like the GoPro does, but we'll deal with it. right along in here. There it is. That is a big egg.
see the color? Unbelievable. Is this one of those things that's been there all along and I just haven't seen it? I don't think so. Just now she had a deer fly sucking along in her crotch. Oh. Never ever saw that on Suki. They never, of course I never got to look at her crotch. No, she was very private about her privates, I guess. She just never opened her self to scratching and rubbing like this sweet girl does. But she's had two litters and Suki had none. I got her at five months. What a fun girl. What a life we're having. being upstaged again. That's okay, because all I want to do is record. This is July 1st. First, ghost beard. The deer flies and the mosquitoes are here. I've had a mosquito at each ear hovering around just outside the orifice. And you swat at them, that doesn't affect them at all. They just, they either don't move or they fly away and fly right back. And the repellent. doesn't repel them. Well next I gotta bring the mower out here. Mow this trail that I just clipped. Mow down, meet up with the autumnal the gold. But I didn't want to bring the mower out here today. I wanted a time with Inslee that we're, that she doesn't have to run off and stay away until the mower sh shuts off. I just wanted to afternoon with her. 
close by. Not much air moving down in the woods here. I can see th far away leaves on a tree are trembling, but nothing's getting down here. She's got to have deer flies in there. Yeah, you think the deer flies were getting at her crotch? She laid down quick and I went over and took a look. Ah, oh, poor kid. <laughs> just now we got back ran out to the power lines and back checked the mail came back parked she laid down right where she's at and I said I want to check you over it's very appreciated that she is not at all uncomfortable about sp spreading her legs to give me access to see what's going on with ticks and deer flies down there oh my god she had three again just now a lot of the time she will lick 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 down there to try to get rid of them well she wasn't doing that this time so I thought there wouldn't be anything there but oh god bloodied my fingers again poor kid I'm so curious why Suki never had deer flies down there but I was a little concerned beginning of the season, summer, that she was going to get to the point where she wouldn't want to be out here. It was windy yesterday. And I was reading in the living room, and I heard a bump kind of far away, just not. But I hear sounds like that all the time that make me nuts. I didn't think anything of it. Like usual, it, it's nothing. And I came over to the door and looked out, and oh, Jesus this uh, had tipped over. No big deal, I can just lift it upright. Well, when I came out to do that, the top six inches of flowers and soil had sort of cascaded out onto the ground. Oh, geez. Well, I kind of I put the loose dirt back in and just lifted it up carefully. But it was sort of a mess, and I thought, oh man, I'm going to kill this thing. This thing, of all of them, is my, I'm most proud of this. I don't want to lose this. I don't think I'm going to lose it. I think we're so far into the growing season that everything is just robustly growing and going. It'll send new roots down. It'll... It'll fill back in. It'll be fine. Oh, and I discovered, you maybe saw from the day before, no, the, no, the day, same day in the morning, I was rearranging these things, and when I moved this over here, it wasn't quite level. So I got a stone and put it under the, you know, one stone under the cement block on the side that was too low. Oh, okay, that righted things well. That stone just compressed down into the soil and set the thing off balance and the wind came along one. We had a good gust and over it went. <laughs> Come here. Come on. She's headed for Otter Pond with her pet potato. I don't want her to take it that far. I want to keep it up here. And we got rain coming. A storm cell is just west of us. Come here. Oh yeah, we got to bring the umbrella. You want to go to Otter Pond?
<laughs> well, my indicator stick is about 24 inches away now from the water level. I've been taking another day off inside. Got a air quality index of about 78. It's not getting better day by day like it used to. It would we'd have a bad day like this. Sometimes over a hundred and by the next day it would have cleared off. Well, I've looked at the map. The wind is feeding it up from the south. It's coming down from eastern United States, from Canada, coming down about to the middle portion of the states and then feeding back up right in our neighborhood. And it was going to be 85 today, which it's not now. I think it's got to be upper 70s. For some reason it's cooled off. Well, maybe it's the rain that's coming. But I don't want to work outside in a air quality like that. I can be outside if I'm not working, respirating a lot deeper. She and I were both napping for the last hour and a half. <laughs> she was up in the, on the loft landing. I was on the bed. I couldn't keep my eyes open about 1.30. I just, oh my God, it just came over me. I had to lay down. I conked out. Knock it off or I'll knock, knock you, you out. out. Hey, did okay. you like my good morning campus? Where is it? Zip, zip. Okay, so I did